We're gonna have to do one more, but it'll be okay. There's probably a reason nobody skis this line from the top. But about 24 hours ago, it made a lot of sense. All right, welcome to my gear closet. So right now I'm packing for a pretty crazy mission tomorrow. So the idea is we're gonna ski off the backside of Mount Lincoln into the Pemi. And this slide is pretty straightforward, just super hard to get to, and it ends in one of the most remote places in the whites. Now that in itself, we wouldn't need all this gear, but here's the problem. If we go off the back side, we need to get back down the front side somehow. And all of the lines that I would normally think to ski off of the Franconia Ridge to get down back into the notch aren't really in right now. So we've come up with a creative solution that we think will work. So the idea is to ski Lincoln's throat which is totally in right now, but most people approach from the bottom and just boot pack up to the ice bulge. We're gonna try and either down climb in or ski in from the top and then rappel into the meat of the line and then ski that back out to the parking lot. So we're gonna carry all this gear with us throughout the day, which is gonna be a little bit of weight training in the beginning, but probably need just about everything I can think of and who knows what else to get down this thing. Either way, it should be an epic mission. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> the trail you approach on is one of the most popular and beautiful summer hiking trails. So skinning up it is just a whole new take on it. We were expecting a slog but it was actually almost like a perfect skin track. You gain the summit ridge, you see beautiful views of the Pemi. We were expecting clouds too, but the sky just opened up. Woo! Oh yeah! <laughs> Dropping into the Pemi wilderness is kind of a surreal experience. It's one of the most remote and inaccessible areas in the White Mountains. When we got eyes on the slide for the first time, we realized it wasn't just a line, it was a zone, and one we were going to need multiple laps to fully explore. Pemi, dude. Isn't that wild, man. <laughs> yeah. So far out. It's like, I think it's like eight miles to walk to the road that way. All right, lap two. Let's do it. <laughs> There was our run down there and that one over there. Now we're gonna find our way down there. All right, harness is on, skin's off. Skiing off the backside of Lincoln was actually pretty casual. 
skiing off the front side, that was going to be a different story. We didn't know much going in from above. What we did know was we were skiing on top of a massive cliff. We skied cautiously, keeping it well below the limit, trying to get down to where we could find a stance for a ski belay. Alright, so he has me on a V thread, and he's gonna belay me down to where I can find our next transition point, and that's the wrap station. I opted to ski on belay for the last stretch, because if there was a little bit of ice under the snow that I couldn't see, and I lost my edge, I probably would have slid off the cliff and died. How much rope do I have? Okay, I'm like right on it. All right, off belay. I may go on and just see how far it reaches. So yeah, trying to get into Lincoln's throat from above, especially with only one rope, was probably a lot more trouble than it was worth. But skiing off the Franconia Ridge, all the way into the notch, right from the summit of Mount Lincoln, that felt proper. Off for Pal! Yeah, dude. <laughs> First. Oh. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, mother. Oh, that pearl. <laughs> mother that pearl. Shit, Fuck. Oh, man. That was an adventure. That was just like one of the grandest things I've done in this range. Thank you, boys, for sharing it with me. Dude, thank yeah. you, man. Never <laughs> been without you, man. Seriously. Hell yeah, man. Fucking Bring it in, dude. Hell yeah. Appreciate you so much. Hell yeah, yeah man. Good yeah. shit, man. Good meeting you, brother. Oh yeah, man. Good day. <laughs> it's one of those days, man. Yeah.